we know that a lot of people develop nodules in the thyroid presence of a small swelling in the thyroid is common in women if i take a large number of population of women over the age of 50 and do an ultrasound of them i'll find more than maybe 50% have nodules but then these nodules are usually small and less than a centimeter we start evaluating a thyroid nodule only when it starts becoming more than a centimeter so the presence of these nodules in thyroid can be evaluated with some simple techniques many of these patients come to us and ask the doctor what would you do i would say we just need to go through three tests the first one is to evaluate a blood sample which sees the hormonal status of the thyroid it's called the t3 t4 and the tsh these hormones for example if a patient has higher hormones can have a generalized swelling of the thyroid and a nodule in the thyroid also patients who have low hormones the thyroid may increase in size to produce more hormones also having a nodules in the thyroid so the hormonal status is the first test that we check to identify any problem in the thyroid the second test is a simple ultrasound scan by an ultrasound scan we can identify whether what type of nodule is present what is the size of the nodule and done with by a good ultrasoundologist or radiologist they can almost tell us what type or what may be the cause of it too the various classifications or methods by which they would tell us whether the nodule looks a benign condition or even it looks a malignant condition after doing an ultrasound in suspicious cases a third test is performed that is the fine needle aspiration cytology or fnac or we would call it a needle test a small needle is pierced through the thyroid into the thyroid gland and a small amount of cells or tissue is taken and evaluated under the microscope by the pathologist this would give us an idea whether the patient has a benign condition or does have an intermediate or a malignant condition so this battery of three tests from a hormonal test to an ultrasound to an fnac would give us a diagnosis about what those nodules are whether they need to be evaluated further whether they need to be kept in observation or whether they need to undergo a surgery